The EU has nowhere to hide in the face of its tardy vaccination rollout, especially in comparison with the UK's success, a think tank has said after the publication of its latest analysis. Facts for EU's experts reached their conclusion after poring over figures from the Our World in Data website, which has compared vaccination rates across the globe. These reveal 34 million people in the UK have been vaccinated with at least one dose, with the UK having administered 50.85 jabs per 100 people. By contrast, the EU's rate is less than a third of that figure, at 16.2. Correspondingly, the death rate per 100,000 people in the UK stood at 0.93 as of Sunday. The EU27's figure, 5.74 was more than six times the UK's figure. Facts for EU's editor-in-chief, Lee Evans, said, In recent weeks we have repeatedly been told that the UK should not crow about its success in vaccinating compared to the EU. There is, however, an important point to be made here. Since 2015 we at facts for eu.org have witnessed and have had to endure the EU's propaganda about all manner of subjects on a daily basis. Like many readers, we have also suffered years of abuse from Remainers, and then from the, thankfully, ever-diminishing number of Ramona joiners. Aparachics in Brussels published a steady stream of information aimed at portraying the block in a good light, Mr. Evans claimed. He added, facts for eu.org has been equally relentless in exposing the truth behind this attempted brainwashing, by researching and analyzing the raw data and presenting the facts to the public. When it comes to the biggest crisis in the world right now the COVID pandemic there really is nowhere for the EU to hide this issue, rightly or wrongly, some would argue, continues to dominate the world's news agenda. And the EU's performance continues to be, frankly, dismal. Referring to the delays in green lighting various vaccines, and the ongoing row over the AstraZeneca jab, Mr Evans suggested that if the UK accepted the EU's request to use the European Medicines Agency, EMA, for vaccine approvals, the nation would now be languishing in full lockdown hell.